Arnold Henderson got a call that no parent ever wants to get. His 28-year-old daughter and four grandchildren caught in their burning apartment. The fire broke out at Lakeview Manor on Forest Avenue in Jackson just before 1 a.m. Saturday. I just want to know why, why, why. That's all I keep running through my mind. Why my babies? My baby, she just, she's just 28. She hasn't even lived a life. The fire killed Simmons' daughter, Dominique Henderson, and her four kids, ages 2, 3, 5, and 7. Neighbors say they watched helplessly as the flames trapped the family inside. It's just a tragedy about how long it took for the fire department to come out here and hook up the hoses, the water didn't come on to like 30 minutes afterwards, and they see the kids in the window, you know, beating on the window for some help. But the fire department says it arrived in five minutes and didn't have problems getting water. A neighbor says he was sitting on these steps when the fire started. He ran up the stairs to the door and kicked it in, but he says the flames were too much. Hours later, this is what was left. The roof completely gone. The siding melted off. Just young kids in there. It was a baby two years old up in there. It went. I had to do anything my power just to help them. That's what I tried to do. Others tried to boost a neighbor to the window from the electric meter. He was trying to get whoever he could get, but the smoke hit his lungs, and that's all we could do. When you see your kids, as well as your grandkids, look over there and at them. Go in and hug them. Tell them you love them. You see, I can't do it today. In Jackson, Aaron Kelly, 16 WABT News. Our inspectors combed through the rubble trying to determine what caused the fire that killed 28-year-old Dominique Henderson and her four children. The oldest was just seven years old. I feel hurt for just even seeing it. The building's charred shell, a constant reminder of this community's loss. Flowers and balloons now memorialize the victims. I, I had to do anything my pal did to help them. Neighbors say they were frantically banging on the dwindles for help. Kick the dough, it cracked. And my other friend, he came over there kick the dough too and it fell over. And when it fell over, flame just fell out the door. I couldn't do it, it was just too much smoke and fire. After kicking the door down, the fire spread, trapping the family next door as well. The woman inside started tossing her children from the window. Me and my friend, we were kitchen, putting them down, because it was a lot. And then she, she jumped down, she jumped down, we tried to kiss her, but she fell. She hit the wall, she fell and she hit her back on the ground. Fire officials say they got on scene within five minutes but couldn't save Dominique Henderson and her children. They lying about their time and everything. I know they lying because I was here and I was watching. This neighbor did not want his face shown but says it took crews at least 15 minutes to show up and another 30 to finally get water onto the flames. That was, they was hollering, they couldn't get no pressure. Water and pressure. Water from pressure from the, from the fire hydrant. Jackson fire crews say they didn't have any issues with water, but neighbors still want answers. Really want to know what caused the fire because I live in one of these buildings too. Travel Island, 16 WAPT News.